Someone feels like you're protecting your energy. Or for many of you, you could be protecting your energy and staying in your own lane because someone is pretending or even spreading false information about you. For many of you, I feel you had to put something behind you or leave something or someone behind. Hmm, focusing on self, many of you are doing big things or in your bag. Hmm. And I feel that is bringing out your haters. I feel someone is wanting to apply pressure because they know the ball is in your court. So for many of you, you're protecting your energy because you know that someone is envious or I feel you just get some type of good feeling when it comes to those who are not being truthful with what they feel or think about you. So it seems like someone is still upset that your cutoff game is real. I feel this is what's bringing out the haters. Hmm. Someone doesn't like the fact that you are protecting your energy or you're in your bag or on to bigger and better things. I feel the ball is in your court because you chose to cut something off or someone pushed you to it. Hmm. So I feel like there's an ending to a situation because someone had no remorse or how they chose to do something, how they chose to handle you or talk to you. I feel this is someone who has a poker face when it comes to their lack of emotion or what they're trying to hide from you. I feel this is someone who is wearing a poker face when it comes to an apology, their regrets, making amends, as this is someone who has definitely lost direction. There's distance, someone is unsure of what to do next, yet this energy is obsessed, but still sitting in evil or toxic energy for many of you this is someone who is very draining because of their low vibrational energy there's a lot of heartbreak misery and hurt surrounding them and many of you have already woken up to the fact that someone is going to always make something difficult but i feel someone just never expected you to take notice mm. I feel many of you took notice to the fact that someone lost direction or they're mixed up into something that you're not wanting to deal with. I feel this is someone who is repeating something over and over again, not learning, not listening. Mm. I feel they're receiving instant karma because of it. So it feels like someone is definitely trying to hide the fact that they are in misery, feeling alone. Or someone is not in the best headspace when it comes to affairs of the heart because I feel someone hung up on you, let go of you, blocked you because they're not ready to deal with what their heart and their mind already knows. I feel this is someone who allows something to stay up in the air because something was never really solid with them. They destroyed something because they couldn't stand up. They did something in a very coward-like way. So someone is definitely feeling some type of way that something is over or they feel something is destroyed because you're guarding your heart, protecting yourself. Hmm. For many of you, many of you are just tired of being hung up on someone who is always thirsty for the wrong things in life, wanting attention, wanting things that are not good for the soul yet also damaging for the heart, but I feel this is someone who was just not prepared for the fact that you would be protecting self. I feel for some of you, this energy blocked you out in many ways. I feel this energy blocked you mentally, physically, emotionally. Please take it how it resonates, but I feel this energy is pretending you are the reason they are resentful or even guarded when it comes to you. For many of you, this energy is blocking you out because they are still refusing to change or acknowledge something. This energy has almost become your hater. This is why many of you are getting the intuition or the gut feeling to protect self when it comes to someone who has a mouthful of lies or someone who is just not being real with you or even real with self. Hmm. Wow. Someone knows that you are a gift, but they're fighting something. Also going through financial loss, but I also feel many of you had to make a choice that was very difficult when it comes to someone who has become something of the past. I feel this energy became something of the past because they became a brick wall. For many of you, this is someone who is still not listening, but they're giving in to doubt. They're unsure on how to deal with something with you because you're not looking back. Hmm. 
So I feel like this is someone who is still hung up on some really deep emotions where they're not really sure what to feel because in some way you have shocked them. So for many of you, I feel like you've shocked them because you're no longer expressing something. You've had enough. They're shocked. Something is unexpected. Someone is shocked at the fact that something is no longer running deep with you. I feel this is someone who is shocked at the fact that you've had enough of them causing trouble for you, confusion, playing with your heart, playing with your head. I feel this is someone who had commitment issues, but also sending some type of vague message or energy towards you just to keep you holding on or confused on what to believe or what to do when it comes to them. But I feel many of you made a choice that they never saw coming. I feel this is a painful experience or situation where there's a lot of fears, trust issues, as well as guilt and shame. I feel there's words or actions that keep this energy in a place of fear or keep this energy in a place of causing trouble because they're always trying to shake something up. This is why there's so much trauma, grief connected to the past, but I feel something has also backfired. There's a lot of chaos and stress. Someone is not reaching out. Okay. So it seems like someone is carrying a lot of guilt for how they treated you, but since they know things will never be the same with you or things will be too hard to repair, someone has become cold-hearted and resistant to what they know is true as it seems this energy is still trying to justify or keep up with their lies or their reasoning of why they had to do the things they had to do. I don't feel many of you are tired of being disappointed or disgusted with their attitude and dismissed by someone you're only trying to help or love. Many of you are adjusting, recouping, healing. And I feel this has definitely put them in a space where they're shocked that you are leaving something behind or accepting something for what it is. I feel you're dealing with someone who is refusing to change. This energy is also coming out as stubborn. They're wanting you to change your mind about something. And I feel you're not taking something lightly. So I feel this is someone who is stuck in their ways, but they're still not putting the pieces together when it comes to facts and details. This is someone who's still not understanding a situation. And I feel things are still not adding up. So for many of you, this is someone who doesn't realize they're not playing you, they're playing themselves. Because many of you are no longer invested in someone who is full of lies, fake, speaking bad about you because they can't be next to you. I feel many of you are trying to figure out how someone has become so hateful or toxic in such short time, but I feel someone's just showing you who they truly are. And for many of you, that is something that you unfortunately will never forget. I feel there's a lot of heartbreak and this is why many of you have to cut something off. No longer wanting to deal with the misery of someone who has lost direction. There's distance. And this is why someone is unsure what to do. So they're wearing a poker face, sitting in this low vibrational energy, knowing the ball is in your court, but this energy is also applying pressure because your silence or hesitation towards them is starting to hit different. As I sense things have gotten intense before, but I feel it has never truly been like this. I feel things were definitely unexpected for someone who has lost direction when it comes to them being hard-headed or just not wanting to listen. I feel many of you have expressed yourself, but this energy is still dismissing your emotions because they have still yet to deal with their own. There's abandonment issues here. So for many of you, someone has abandoned communication with you because they're still dealing with their fears, they're codependent. Someone is still dealing with the fact that they are not stable. They have a lot of negative beliefs, low self-esteem. Someone is overindulging. Wow. So what it looks like to me is someone is abandoning communication with you because of their stability. This energy is sitting in regret because of their low self-esteem and their lack of confidence. But unfortunately for them, I feel they're still using guilt to manipulate things. I feel this energy is afraid to set boundaries as well. 
This is why their stability and communication is off because someone is sitting in a comfort zone. Someone is sitting in a comfort zone because they feel like they're getting away with something, but I feel like they're getting away with nothing because there's a lot falling apart or surrounding their energy because they're sitting in a space of denial. Self-deception. So, someone is sitting in a comfort zone and there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of confusion within a situation where someone has gotten too comfortable with sitting in a space of denial. I feel this is someone who doesn't like the feeling of distance or even the thought of you getting over them or being content without them, but I feel their denial will only bring them to a space of a rude awakening, especially when it comes to the guilt of their wounds that they're still in denial of. I feel this is someone who is overindulging. There's greed. I also feel this energy is over drinking. Mm. Spending beyond their means and also numbing the pain through instant gratification just to hide their wounds or not feel the pain of their wounds. I feel this energy is also dealing with relationships outside of you that has become toxic. There is karmic energy here that someone is now sitting in a space of regret. Wow. Someone is in denial because they know they can't fix something that they intentionally broke because they were constantly focused on the wrong things. I feel this is what's keeping them trapped. Hmm. For many of you, this is someone who has random goals. They really don't have any type of focus and this is what's keeping them overloaded and sitting in a very clouded energy where I sense they're having thoughts of having a serious conversation with you, but I feel this energy is still not standing on solid ground as they have yet to show you any type of remorse or even regret for what they have done or even said about you. As I sense many of you have only received excuses and self-pity for someone who is still sitting in a space of wearing a disguise and not wanting to be vulnerable to their weaknesses. I feel this is someone who still has a lot of addictions that they're not wanting to share. Addictions that they are aware of that is making them toxic. I also feel this is another reason they are in denial. They still haven't learned their lessons. They're still sitting in a cloudy space. Hmm. Someone is still not saying that they need to be transparent, honest, vulnerable, having nothing to hide. But this energy is creating self-sabotaging moments because they are triggered. Triggered by the fact that they won't be able to receive that forgiveness they believe is owed to them. This energy has locked you out or this energy has become very petty with you, causing many of you to question why they've become so unbearable, mean, or toxic. It's because they're still trying to deal with some unfamiliar emotions and feelings that have nothing to do with you, yet in many ways still affects you as someone has still yet to realize they're still going to have to pay their debt when it comes to their karma. I feel this is someone who is going to have to pay off a karmic debt. Whether that is past life or present life, someone is going to have to pay their dues when it comes to how they disappointed or broke your heart in two. Someone is in solitude because they're dealing with their pride. This is someone who is wanting you to see them as a twin flame or someone is wanting you to be stuck like glue, blind to their mistakes. Hmm. Someone is wanting your love and they're wanting you to love them blindly. Meaning this energy is wanting you to accept what is given without some type of reaction. You know, this is someone who's still not compromising. Even though they want you to be attached, this energy has too many trust issues. For many of you, this energy is detached and hurting you because they are afraid to be hurt. This energy is in their pride when they should be soul searching. If this energy is in solitude because of their ego. Someone doesn't want to be vulnerable. Hmm. This is someone who is feeling the fear and doing something anyways because they don't want to be optimistic about something. Hmm. They don't want to take a chance. As I said before, they're taking the coward's way out. 
This is someone who has no courage, afraid to tell the truth. Someone is afraid to tell the truth when it comes to family, a commitment, a close bond, a toxic environment, or a karmic connection. Someone is neglecting their wounds because they're struggling to let go of what they refuse to acknowledge. I feel this is someone who is at a crossroads. Overdoing things, doing things for instant gratification because they're re refusing to see something. But I feel they're forced to see it because things are now becoming chaotic. The more this energy refuses to see things, things are becoming more chaotic. I feel a third party is also about to become a part of a problem for them. They're suppressing their emotions with you as well as others and they're also walking away. You know, karmic energy here. This third party has purpose. They're bringing hardship. And for some of you, this is hardship that they may or may not survive, but I feel it's up to them. But whatever the case, it's not going to be something that they're going to be able to walk away from. Someone is going to have to create balance or accept the hardship. There's a lot of karma here for someone who is just not getting or understanding a situation where there's too much pride. There will always be too much ego. And with all this pride, ego, and arrogance, there's just not enough room for you to stand next to their ego and their pride. Where this energy is always creating scenarios where they are the victim when they should be really begging for your forgiveness. Yet instead, this energy still chooses to hide their shame and their pain by holding back and avoiding accountability or the truth. Just to keep from breaking from the pressure of what they know they have done to themselves and even you. I feel this is someone who still sees you as a close connection, but many of you don't feel that way because of the choices that they have made and the sabotage that, that they created through their fears, addictions, and trust issues. I feel this is someone who created problems and confusions because of their lost ways, but I feel this energy is still sticking by their choices because they have yet to find a way to face their truth or even their own demons. Someone's still sitting in a space where they're accusing you of being the very person they know they have become. I feel this is someone who is at a distance because they're still trying to hide something when it comes to you. An earth angel. Meaning if you had to release and surrender when it comes to someone who is still watching but still being childish about a situation. In fact, I feel this is someone who wants more from you but they're still shutting you out. I feel this energy is shutting you out even though they should be showing you love. But this energy is still blowing off steam and pretending something is funny when they're dying inside. This is someone who is empty. Hmm. Knowing something is rare, they still don't see that something is a losing game. This is why something has become hard to understand because you're dealing with someone who is truly confused at who they truly are. I feel this is someone who is watching from a distance, upset that there is no forgiveness. I feel this is someone who is now open emotionally 24-7. And this is why a third party was able to move in. And another reason they're still holding a grudge with you because wherever they are, they're not happy because if they were, they wouldn't have the time to be petty or disgruntled towards you. But I feel this is someone who is still putting on a show, looking past you, even though something is a losing gang, someone is still trying to fit in. And this is why they're still not hearing you. They're still not listening because someone is still living in a fantasy, some type of illusion. <sighs> wow. Even though they feel or even know they should be giving you an apology, this energy is in the fast lane and guarding the heart. I feel like you're dealing with someone with a guarded heart. There's a lot of messy behaviors attached to them because they're still living a life where there's a lot of hidden dangers. And the fact that they're holding a grudge and guarding the heart, many of you are just over trying to love someone who doesn't want to be loved. Because even if some of you are praying for them or even yourselves, you're not willing to go down this rabbit hole of confusion. Because this is someone who is still blocking you out. 
someone is blocking you out due to their false persona because they don't understand but I feel you do I feel you understand that someone has lost their direction when it comes to community ties third parties things they choose to believe cycles they choose to continue as it seems someone is still playing it cool pretending not to care pretending not to be unbothered when this energy is truly bothered that you don't care hmm. I feel that someone is playing it cool when it comes to their intentions as it seems this energy is still numbing the pain numbing out the world and still repeating karmic cycles with karmic influences someone is still not reading between the lines all in their head while wow. someone is all in their head feeling attacked and this is why they've, they're holding some type of resentment when they know you're the only one that truly cares but because of their pride, their ego, and even their shame, this energy just doesn't plan on coming out of hiding anytime soon. As it seems this energy is still trying to figure out ways to blame you or even shame you. Uh, because they couldn't have their way when it comes to you. Yeah, someone is definitely not reading between the lines, but you going down this rabbit hole with them again, it's just it's just not a choice that many of you are willing to make. Many of you are praying for this energy to finally find their way, but this energy is mute. Mute to having some type of resentment or some type of apology, but this energy is still speaking on your name. Because they feel you should have been resilient. But I feel you standing up for self was definitely a shock for someone who is dealing with karmic energies, toxic cycles, environments. Hmm. But still having something off, even though they know something is their worst nightmare. Because someone is definitely dying inside, but they're still putting on some type of show, a weird flex. Someone is putting on some type of show for the public, but they're still not being an open book. So I feel like this is someone who is putting on some type of weird flex when they should be keeping it simple. But this is someone who is in their feelings and they're being petty with you because they're wanting you to feel some type of way too. Someone wants you to feel like you're the reason. Someone wants you to feel unwanted. All because they can't level up or measure up when it comes to you. I feel someone is in their feelings because there is no conversation. So for many of you, this energy is blocking you out or this energy has blocked you, forcing you to move on or accept something. But I feel this energy is being petty because they're wanting you to be in your feelings as well. I feel this is someone who is wanting you to do something strange or unusual. Hmm. To have this conversation, someone is wanting you to come out of character to claim or take your position, but I feel this energy is still not realized or discovered the fact that something is definitely out of your hands. Many of you are over it. Something is the last straw. Someone is dealing with something that's become a final decision or destination where many of you are starting to feel the things they do or say is all cap, bold faced lies. Someone is gaslighting you. Uh, someone is fake woke, someone is talking in circles, but also pressed that the mind games are not working. Someone is wanting to send you on some type of guilt trip. But I feel they don't have the advantage. Hmm. And this is why someone has become irrational, senseless, because they took a risk and there is no reward for their being two-faced or toxic. And the fact that they have been irrational, someone is not being clear-headed when it comes to being appreciative or authentic when it comes to you. For many of you, I feel like this energy is triggered, still needing to heal. This energy is traumatized, traumatized by their past, traumatized by love, and this is why they're in savage mode. Someone is in savage mode when it comes to you, but I feel payback is karma. As I sense life is about to be straightforward about what they should and shouldn't do when it comes to chosen energy such as you. I feel this is someone who's about to see that they should have did something differently. But I feel things would have taken a different route if they would have been brutally honest. But someone didn't want to look weak about it. But I feel someone could be pressed. Doing something in a very childish or weird way just so they can feel they have the upper hand this energy has been petty 
But as I said before, someone should have just kept it simple. But due to these pity or childish ways, many of you feel like they never cared at all. For many of you, this is someone who's putting on some type of weird flex because they don't want you to truly know how they feel. This is someone who doesn't want you to know that they are just as affected as you are. Wanting to backtrack, but someone feels like something is too out of sync. Someone feels like they caused a war with you, and because something is too out of balance, they've become too comfortable or lazy to even repair it. Someone's agitating you on another level, so much so that you feel you don't know who this new person is that you're seeing, but I feel in so many ways this is another reason many of you are cautious or playing it safe when it comes to someone who is jaded, lacking motivation, and is giving fraud. For many of you, you feel scammed by this energy because they just took flight, started a war, did a lot of things to agitate you, and this is why many of you are cautious, but I feel this energy is blaming you for something dissolving or fading away. For many of you, this is someone who is being exposed. There's tough love here. There's also receipts. I see third party energies here where there's cycles being repeated as well as spite. Someone has some very spiteful energy here where they're being dramatic and doing something excessively. I feel someone is coming out with fraud energy because they are detached. Someone is heavily detached when it comes to your energy, which in turn causes them to push you away or lash out at you because they know you speak the truth when they really just want you to accept the things they say and do blindly. Let's get a final deck out here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Let's get some energy here on this bed. There is history here, but I also see there is a history of secrets when it comes to this connection or this relationship. This is someone who has always been misleading as it seems this energy is gaslighting you because they know they're lying to you. Yet deep down they're hoping to distort your memory through time and ignoring you hoping you will question how you chose to handle things with them. Hoping that their actions would somehow cause you to challenge self, challenge your memory, or challenge the facts that you know are true. As it seems this energy is doing a lot of things to confuse you through emotion. I feel this energy has a history of secrets, but I also feel they have a history of ignoring what they are attached to. I feel this energy has a lot of secrets that keep them in a space of misleading things because someone knows they're toxic, unhealthy, abusive. Someone knows they are gaslighting you. Someone knows that there's a lot of mistreatment when it comes to their selfish ways disregarding you because they are sitting in a comfort zone sticking to what they know hiding behind a mask but I also feel this toxic energy just might be their true self because this energy is playing the victim and hoping to get the wires crossed within this situation someone is hoping and banking on you being vulnerable or you seeing this as a miscommunication or misunderstanding but I feel many of you are seeing past that and is no longer being misled by this person's misinformation Hmm. Someone is definitely wanting to throw you off, throw, throw you off the scent of the truth. And this is why they're allowing time to pass by or someone is wanting to send you on some type of guilt trip, wanting you to feel shameful for your actions of speaking the truth or even holding their feet to the fire. But whatever the case, someone is wanting you to hesitate to do it again. I feel this is someone who has a pattern that they're wanting you to ignore. But I feel someone is definitely in their feelings, even though they know they gave you no effort. There's a lack of action when it comes to someone who is never truly trying. And this is why you feel like this energy never truly cared. Yet unfortunately for you, their lack of effort is a way of them dictating and controlling a situation. Sending you on some type of guilt trip just to punish you. But I feel something is faded. Hmm. Something is definitely inevitable when it comes to someone who knows they're just making things up about you because they are hurt by you. 
I feel you definitely bruise someone's ego. And they're using time, lies, and distance in the hopes it will drive you crazy when it's only distorting their own truth of their own reality. This is someone who is trying to use time to get you to forget the details. In fact, this energy is banking on that. Banking on misleading you. But I feel someone has already lost direction or lost your respect over time. Wow, someone is wanting you to be unclear, unsure, confused, full of doubt, just so you can let something go. Someone is still not validating, still has no value, but without value or even stability, there will never be a sense of true foundation. Hmm. Wow. So without value, a true understanding, an apology, something will be final. And for many of you, there is no going back from that. Because once you make a true choice to protect yourself or even your heart, many of you don't go back from that. As this is someone who will always try to get you to question your sanity within a situation where you already know the truth. Which is the very reason they continue to take your words out of content, twist your words, or completely miss the point. So they can become passive or try to convince you that you're being overdramatic when you really know your worth. For many of you, I believe there's pretty much little to no healthy communication when it comes to this energy because they rarely take responsibility for their part in anything as they always intend to gaslight and manipulate situations to get out of it. But I feel a storm is coming that's going to put them under a lot of pressure. Wow. So someone is definitely being misleading when it comes to a situation that is becoming final because of time. I feel there's a storm coming their way because of what they're choosing not to see. And there's also tension, a fallout, a conflict. There's some stress here that's going to leave something strained. I feel whatever it is is attached to something that is dark. That's going to definitely put something under some serious pressure. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who is intentionally gaslighting and manipulating a situation just so that they can convince you that you took things the wrong way or you're missing out. But I feel someone's anger, regret, it's about to get the best of them. Because someone is avoidant because they're still chasing a thrill, chasing a lie, and losing their identity. Because someone is definitely distant, aloof, having no emotion. This energy is detached, shutting others out, pushing you away. All because of trust issues and sabotage. Something is about to become final. Someone's about to lose the control that they desire or want so much. But I feel it's only going to bring them to a space of misery. Hmm. Where something will definitely put them in a space of turmoil because something will be destroyed, shattered, blown up to smithereens, blown up to where there's no recognizing what it was before. Something is completely destroyed because of someone's ego, but it's only going to lead them to their karma because if they didn't believe in karma, then they are definitely about to be put in a position where they're going to believe in it now. Because I feel this is someone who did a lot of things to you in a very petty way intentionally. But I feel they did a lot of things to upset you or mess with your head. Because they wanted you to be stuck in a space of doubt when it comes to standing up for self or leaving them to their own vices. Where they claim you are intentionally setting them up to fail. Yet this is the consequences in the mindset of a fool who still believes they're fooling you.